Hello, welcome to Hassan Zaman Educational Video Series. This video is in our DC circuit series. In today's video, we will discuss power and energy. So far, we have learned about voltage, current, resistance, but we have not talked about power or energy. So, this is something we need to know. This is a simple subject, and this is mostly definition. There's not much to understand here. That's the good news, I hope. So, let's write down the topic and we will be dealing mostly with electrical power how much power we consume when we run something formula for power in an electrical circuit is P is equal to Vi this is the most important formula you can use this formula in DC circuits or an AC circuit or in a circuit with electronics it is always true if you remember this one rule you will be able to find power in all cases no matter what the circuit is so I'm going to call this the golden rule of power okay. power basically tells you how much energy you are burning per second and the unit for energy is joule so how many joules of energy you are burning per second and that is called power and the unit of power is what what if you write e for energy e is equal to if you multiply power times time you get total energy because power is energy per second if you multiply by number of seconds you get total energy joule unit of this is what unit of this is time seconds That's basically all about power. Let's say we have a circuit with a battery, 12 volt, and we have two resistors. We call this R1, R2. Let's call the current is I. And how much will be the current? These two are in series, okay? So total resistance is 6 ohm. The current will be 12 by 6. 2 ampere. How much power this battery is giving away? P is equal to Vi. Power P times I that is 12 volt times I is 2 ampere. 24 watt. For the resistance R1 power is what is the voltage here? I is 2 ampere and 2 ohm, B is equal to I here, so it will be 4 volt. And what is the voltage here? 2 ampere times 4 ohm, it will be 8 volt. So this part, the P battery, and this is PR1, is 4 volt times 2 ampere V times I what and for R2 PR2 is 8 volt times 2 ampere sixteen watt you see the power given out by battery is 24 watt and the power consumed by these two resistors is also 8 plus 16 24 watt so in a circuit the amount of power supplied equal to amount of power consumed there are a couple of other forms of power equation for resistors only that they don't apply to any other things not voltage source not a transistor or any other thing only applies to resistor the other form is power is Vi and for resistor V is equal to IR according to Ohm's law times I so we get I square R and there is also another form for resistance Vi V is V and I is equal to V over R 
so that gives you v square over r so for only for registers you can use this formula i square r or v square over r but if you have used just v times i you would get the same answer but problem with these two you cannot use them for anything else you can only use them for registers i have learned the golden rule of power is p is equal to vi but there are two variations for registers and we have also discussed like power supplied and power consumed we need to discuss a bit more on that topic like who is supplying power or who is consuming power the general rule is if you see current is coming out of the positive terminal that means the terminal which has higher voltage that is giving away power supplying power so this is supplying power because current is coming out of the positive terminal and here current is going into the positive terminal uh, positive higher, higher voltage side of the resistor so it is consuming power and same case here current is going into the positive end of the voltage drum that means higher voltage side so it is consuming power another fact you do not have to know what the components are if you just know the signs you can tell if it is supplying power or consuming power so let's change this picture just a bit let's say we know this is 2 ampere that we found out but we don't know what we don't know what is this actually so this is a black box and this is also a black box all three are black boxes but we know the signs so this is plus minus this is plus this is minus this is plus this is minus from just this picture you can tell which one is supplying power and which one is consuming power for this element you see current is flowing this way it's coming out of the positive end so this is supplying power and here current is going to the positive end of the voltage that means it is consuming power and same here and this concept is very powerful you can apply it in any case in this context let me change this picture just a bit i'm going to erase this part and a voltage source here is it supplying power or consuming power current is still 2 ampere flowing this way it is actually consuming power because current is flowing to the positive end so it, it means a battery doesn't always supply power sometimes it also consumes power for example whenever your car needs to jump start suppose battery is battery has gotten weak and it's not a car is not starting you get another car which has a powerful battery and you start that your car so when you are connecting the other battery to your car your battery actually getting power supplied into it so it is consuming energy let's go back to our previous structure it was 12 volt it was 4 volt and it was 8 volt p battery was 24 watt and it was p r1 was 4 times 2 8 watt and p r2 16 watt so this is the basis for calculating energy we know their equation for energy is power times time and that's how we calculate energy consumption in our houses in houses actually we calculate kilowatt hour what is the power supply 24 watt the same power is consumed by the two resistors we can calculate either way either by power consumption or by supply so let's go by supply how much energy being supplied if you keep it on for say one month how much energy it will supply and assume the battery is very good battery and its voltage doesn't go down it keeps supplying the same power for one month so what will be total energy the energy will be e is equal to power times time and power is 24 watt and time is one month 
that is in seconds it took 30 days times 24 hours each hour has 60 minutes and each minute has 60 seconds so this many second watt second okay and watt second is joule but we will not go into joule here we will remain in kilowatt hour so power is 24 watt and 30 days and each day has 24 hour so we have this many watt hour but the unit of power for household power consumption is kilo kilowatt hour that means you have to divide it by 1000 kilo means 1000 how many thousand watt hour we have to find that out we divide this by 24 times 30 times 24 divide by 1000 it was watt hour now it is kilowatt hour and that's the that's the unit for household power and suppose each kilowatt hour cost 10 cents that means this battery has supplied energy which cost this, this 24 times 30 times 24 1000 and each kilowatt hour cost 10 cents a dime 10 cents one so it becomes dollar 1.728 which is equal to dollar 1.73 so if this battery supplies power to these two resistors which could be two light bulbs for a month and if each kilowatt hour cost 10 cents by the end of the month whoever gives the battery should charge you this amount of money get the picture how to calculate energy just multiply power by time and in this case we are not converting to joule which is the standard unit of energy we are converting to kilowatt hour which is the energy used by electric companies to supply power to our houses. So hopefully this discussion was useful. I encourage you to watch our future videos. Thanks for watching.